हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडे टॉपिक इज प्रोजेक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कमिशनिंग इंजीनियरिंग एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड वेरियस टॉपिक ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिलेवरेबल्स टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्रोक्यूरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेनी मोर एंड Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is project implementation commissioning engineering. Now introduction to project implementation commissioning engineering. Project commissioning is a process of assuring that all the system and components of a building or industrial plants are designed, installed, tested, operated and maintain according to the operational requirement of the owner or the final client one can refer to the triangle where actually the planning for commissioning mechanical completion examination of a pnid is pre commissioning commissioning pssr startup initial operation performance stage these are the factors we are going to see in a brief as part of the commissioning process commissioning is the process of a planning documenting scheduling testing adjusting verifying and training to provide a facility that operate as a full functional system as per the owner project's requirement actually the process involves the design procurement construction recommissioning commissioning startup performance testing normal operation the goal of commissioning process is as follows first to ensure the completeness of a construction activities as per the design engineering document second to enhance the quality of the deliver project by focusing on functionality third to ensure correct engineering assessment during commissioning of the project or the task classification of a project commissioning engineering commissioner engineers are engaged in the testing of the facilities equipment and plants to make sure that they function correctly and produce the expected result in doing so they bring the product or system to a point which it can be used more efficiently and effectively project commissioning engineering is the process of assuring that all the system and the components of a building or industrial plant are designed installed tested operated and maintained according to the operational requirement of the owner or the final client the classification as follows first mechanical completion that is a mc mechanical completion of the project will be achieved when the work has been completed mechanically and structurally is in good condition and when the activities specified in a listed checklist have been carried out second the documentation for mechanical completion the mechanical completion certificate that is mcc punch list that is pl and mechanical completion status index that is mcsi are the part of this documentation the mechanical completion package consists of the completion certificate and relevant attachment as we have discussed for the various activities to be carried out a mechanical completion certificate mcc is a form completed by the executor after the mc is being carried out mechanical completion check record that is mccr is the form on which the executor record punch list and mechanical completion index status third mechanical completion handover is the activity of a handing over from the mechanical completion to commissioning is at the stage of commissioning package level documented by the ready for commissioning certificate that is rfcc fourth carry over work register that is cor basically the cor item number and cross reference to the punch list or mc cr to be given cow work will be then marked up on the drawing or the sketches and to be included in the record fifth 
is the typical mechanical completion activity involves mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, telecommunication, piping, HVAC, safety, etc. discipline activities. Sixth, mechanical completion of a non-operational system where the mechanical completion of a non-operational system which mainly include the completion status and checks on the area basis where the structural surface protection, insulation, fireproofing and architectural discipline activities are involved. One can refer to the mechanical completion figure where engineering, construction, mechanical completion, handing over, commissioning, startup, these are the processes are involved. Mainly the mechanical completion defines the subsystem, inspection test record, discipline acceptance certificate, mechanical completion certificate, mechanical completion dossier. This is how the project commissioning engineering is categorized so as to understand the stages and the features of uh, this classification. Here we are going to see the various kind of form mechanical completion certificate that is MCC, punch list that is a PL, ready for commissioning certificate that is RFCC. One can refer to the these forms where one can see typically it consists of the MCC description, MCC area, MCC site, system, subsystem, system or scope of acceptance where the discipline codes are mentioned, mechanically completed as per attached MCSI, MCC stated date and comments if any and this is how the MCC certificate is being completed. Similarly, punch list or activities related to the discipline where descriptions of the tag drawing documents are indicated and the status of each activities are being defined there and listed down. Ready for commissioning certificate where system, subsystem, commissioning package number, commissioning package description mechanically completed as per the attachments which we have seen that is MCSI, punch list register, preservation status, site, RFCC, status etc. and status being verified by the executor. This is how the formats are useful while doing the project commissioning. Now moving on to pre-commissioning. Pre-commissioning activity are the non-operating work responsibilities such as adjustment, cold alignment check, etc. performed by the contractor prior to the commissioning or mechanical completion. The pre-commissioning work for the project is carried out immediately after the issuance of the mechanical completion certificate. One can refer to the figure where one can see turnaround, pre-commissioning, commissioning and startup. Under this mechanical completion where all the equipments are in place, filter, packaging, internals, flanges, QADs, cleaning, flushing, punch items complete, mechanical system walk down and now for moving on to the ready for commissioning, loop testing, uncoupled motor run, dry coupled motor run, valve stroking, relief valve testing, critical document as a building, utilities, air power, punch and items to be completed. Now ready for the startup where the leak test, verify installation, fluid production, wet commissioning, emergency shutdown that is the ESG testing, introduction of a hydrocarbon, system alignment walk down, punch C items completed and finally ready for the operation where the full plant startup performing testing. This is the complete life cycle of this commissioning process. A checklist of activities at the pre-commissioning stage is given below for a better understanding. One hydro testing of a pipeline, second leakage test of a pipeline, third flushing and cleaning of a pipeline, four system dry out, fifth inerting, sixth systematic conformity check of equipment, seven static de-energize test of equipment. Once the pre-commissioning stage is completed, the next stage is commissioning or the startup activities which we will see progressively in this video. Commissioning. The term commissioning means making the system operational 
to benefit the user after the virtual completion of the project. For commissioning process, it is necessary to take the following step into the consideration. Step 1. Setting up a commissioning team with a person who are expert at their job. Step 2. Equipping the project with all the necessary accessories in addition to the major plant and machinery for the purpose of commissioning work. Step 3. Appointing staff worker and arranging for their training and placement. Step 4. Preparing operational schedule, a master network and sub-network for commissioning work. Step 5. Commissioning the separate unit step by step as per the sequence and synchronizing all the units running in condition so that they are ready for the use. Arrange a feedback to the commissioning team designer consultant of a sifting trouble so that they can be finding the solution appropriately. Step 6. The continuing trials of all the units together for a specified period as per the statutory, legal or a contractual or a technical requirement. Now here for the process control commissioning procedure, it is the activity defined the procedure to be used for commissioning of the process control system. Mainly here commissioning is defined as the activities required for chemical process fluid or the other intermediate product introduced to the system under control of an automated system. During commissioning, the instruments and the system as a units are tested for the proper installation, interconnection and function. As the commissioning tests are performed, the results are documented on a commissioning form and any unacceptable deviations are listed as a written problem or the punch list which needs to be rectified. First, the process control system commissioning procedure can generally be performed according to A. Assemble drawing and data document B. Perform pressure testing C. Verify calibration D. Perform mechanical check E. Perform electrical check F. Test safety devices and interlock G. Perform functional loop check H. Assemble test record document Second, assembling all the drawing and data documents like PNID, control room plan section and details, control room single line diagram, electronic single line diagram, instrument location and a conduit plan, pneumatic location and a tubing plan, control panel layout and a wiring, power distribution panel PDP schedule, terminal arrangement and a interconnection detail, hardware installation detail, loop diagrams, instrument index, specification, data sheet. One can refer the figure where preparation, design, pre-construction, construction, commissioning of a services, pre-handover, in initial occupation, post-occupancy care, these are the steps are being followed during commissioning. Startup phase, the ability of the entire startup team to troubleshoot is a crucial in the startup phase. In order to effectively troubleshoot, the team must have a thorough understanding of the system components and the system as a whole. One can refer to the figure where we are going to see there is a construction, commissioning, startup operation on a timeline diagram starting with pre-commissioning where mechanical completion, construction completion, design rate, perform testing under the construction, ready for commissioning, then from commissioning to the initial startup after the startup that is a specification product and finally into the operation stage where plant acceptance. This is how today we have tried to cover our today's topic that is a project implementation commissioning engineering where we have seen project implementation, classification of a project commissioning engineering, pre-commissioning, commissioning and startup activity. Hope this video will help you to understand project implementation, commissioning engineering. Keep watching our channel eFunda for new videos. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda. 
and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel ifanda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel ifanda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel ifanda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic